Good morning. Marie and I are back. We're ready for a good workout. I hope you are too. Um, we're going to start today by doing a real quick warm up. Um, not real quick, you know, we want, probably going to be about 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's Lacey. Hi, Lacey. Let's see. Do we have Ryder with us? And Bic and Donna. And let's see, Skyly. Who else is going to join us this morning? Uh, my name is Libby. And this is my daughter, Bree. She's out here. I'm wearing my Punisher shirt. This is actually how I got my nickname. So good morning, Megan. Um, I wore this shirt to, to the gym a few times and finally earned myself the nickname, The Punisher. So I think that's how I traditionally got it. All right, so two minutes of any kind of warm up you want, just something to get the heart rate up. You can go for a little run. You can do jumping jacks, work on the jump rope, um, do some burpees. But Brie and I are going to take off for a little run. If anybody joins us in the meantime, I've got my handy dandy sign here. We'll be back. All right, two minutes. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine. They can see it. Okay, two minutes. Go. They can see it fine. Yeah, there's yours. All right, I told you I'd be back. <laughs> okay. Got my heart rate up a little bit. Warmed up those muscles. So we're gonna continue on to our warm up. We're gonna do three rounds of the following. Slight change in each round. Starting off, we're gonna do, if you're doing that push-up challenge with us, today we're on day seven. So we're gonna start with seven push-ups in whichever form you're working on. Now, if you can't do seven in a row, um, that's fine. Just do five, and then um, next round, you can catch the other two, um, or however you need to break it up. Or just save your push-up challenge for later in the day, and, and just do whatever you can here in the most advanced form you can, whether hopefully either from your toes or staying in some sort of plank position, doing it from a table, doing it from a chair, or elevated on some books. Um, your hands are on the floor, but you're raising, your, your chest is touching the books, if that makes sense. So do as many as you can, up to seven, um, from, your, from your toes or from, again, that plank position, preferably not from your knees. Um, that way it's just, as we're getting stronger, building from that push-up, if you're doing it from your knees, you're changing the lever. So you're going um, 
it's easier as we build up our strength from that full lever plank position and just lower ourselves as we get stronger from a higher position to eventually just from your hands on the floor. All right, so let's go ahead and do seven. Then we're gonna do um, 10 sit-ups and then we're gonna do 15 air squats. We're gonna do three rounds, but we're gonna be changing that very first movement, the push-ups, each round. So next round will be burpees. And the third round, we're gonna do what's called a doubles press. All right, so go ahead and give me um, up to seven push-ups this first round. All right, in whatever form you're working on. And you can count it towards your, um, your challenge. Again, remember, keep your elbows fairly close to your side. You don't want to chicken wing them out too much, no more than like 45 degrees. Hands underneath your chest, or your shoulders, sorry, under the shoulders. And keep your belly pulled in. Don't let your hips sink. You want to keep them, again, rib hip connection, and squeeze that booty. Tuck the pelvis under. All right, let's go ahead and come to a stand. Oh, I'm sorry, stay sitting. We'll do our sit-ups. So if you have an ab mat, you can go ahead and grab it. First round, we're doing 10 sit-ups. Second round, we're still going to do 10, but we're going to alter the sit-up just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead. You can go close knee, hands touch in front, armpits to the knee, hands and shoulders touch in the back. Nice job. Air squats. Now come to a stand. Go ahead and heels under the shoulders, toes slightly turned out. Keep your chest lifted as you drop your hips back and down. Knees go outward. Let's do 15. Back and down. Now get that full range of motion, that full depth. 15. What I mean by full depth, if you can, Get your hip crease to come beneath your knees. Like, don't stop here. The money is at the bottom. And all that weight shifts to your heels or to your hips versus here, all the pressure's in your knees. All right, that felt like 15. <laughs> All right, so round two, we're gonna be changing this up a little bit. Round three, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells if you have some, but you don't need those quite yet. All right, so we're gonna be doing burpees, just chest to floor, and just giving five of them. So you can step back or jump back. So modification is just to step back into a high plank and then come back up, just like so here, or jump it back. Otherwise, everybody, chest to floor. Five. So a secret in burpees, keep your feet about shoulder width apart. Maybe even a little bit wider. Try to take the squat out of it. And take the push-up out of it. So when you go to a high plank and then lower to the floor, if you're putting in a strict, a strict push-up into the burpee. Um, that's an option to do today in our wad if you want to do that to make it a little more strength building, but not necessary. Um, especially when you have a high rep with burpees, you want to take the push-up out. All right, so now we're going to be doing our sit-ups. Come back to the floor. Do you want a mat? What's that? Want a mat? Uh, yeah, I have a mat. Okay. So this time... Let's go knees open. Again, I want you to see the difference between the two. See which one you like better. Hands touch in front, shoulders and hands touch in back. Hips stay on the floor.
All right, once you've done 10, go ahead and come back up to a stand. All right, here we're gonna squat and then come up onto our toes. Heels, again, underneath the shoulders, toes slightly turned out. So you're going down to the squat, then coming up high into the toes. So this right here can be another modification for one of the movements we're doing today. Or just stay right here on the heels. All right, in the last round of our warm up, we're gonna be doing all the movements we're actually doing in the wad. And just remember that anything you're doing in the warm ups for the first two rounds, you can revert to that modification. Is that 15? All right. <laughs> I said she's my rep counter. All right, so last round in the warm up. This is where you're gonna want your dumbbells. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're doing what's called a devil's press. It's essentially a burpee with dumbbells. <laughs> so I want you to keep the dumbbells. Um, don't put them too close together. You wanna to have enough space between them that you can get your chest to the floor. So hands are gonna come down, grab onto your dumbbells, jump or step your feet back, chest to the floor, jump or step your feet back in, and press those dumbbells overhead. Go ahead and give me five, just like that. When you're not five, go ahead and set your dumbbells down. Good, three. Now again, that's a movement we're doing in the wad, but if your dumbbells are too heavy, then just take the dumbbells out and give me those burpees. All right, we're gonna be doing V-ups here. Again, still working on the core. Give me 10. So your feet and the legs, arms, you're extended on the floor. Let's see if you can see me a little better here. You're gonna come up, arms and legs at the same time, touch your toes, up on that sit bone. Now if you can't touch your toes, go for your shins or your knees. Another modification could be single arm. So put one arm on the floor, come up by the help of driving your elbow into the floor, touch the toes. You can do half on the right side and half on the left side. So you can choose to do, for this warm-up portion, five on the left, five on the right, or give me 10 with both legs, both arms. All right, go ahead and give me 10. Right arm down, right there. Arm down. And you're going to drive up with the elbow. Touch your toe. Or your shin or your knee. Use that, use that other arm more. Okay. Just hurt my tailbone. Hurt your tailbone? Okay, so if you're having challenges with this movement, another one you can do, which is going to do a lot of similar movement, uh, using the similar muscles anyways, at least for the lower abs, Go put your hands underneath your hips, raise your feet up to the ceiling, and give me hip lifts right there. That can be an alternate to also the VFs. If, if it's hurting your tailbone too much or you just can't quite get the hang of it, uh, but try it. All right, and then last one, come to a stand. Then we're going to do air squats, jumping squats. So we went from normal squat then we went to squatting high on the toes. Now we're going to go a little bit of air. Give me 15. All right. And you don't need to get high. Just give me a little air. I might give my neck an inch. <laughs> Good 
good job. I'm already breathing hard. <laughs> All right, so the only equipment you're gonna need today are a set of dumbbells, and again, those are optional if you're gonna do those double presses. Um, otherwise, get your space and this wad. I'm thinking it will be around 20 minutes if I were to guess. Um, this one's harder to guess because I'll show you why. <laughs> Okay, so I showed you what all three movements are. Now let's look at it here. For time, that means you're doing this as fast as you can and to see how long it takes you. The first movement were those double presses or burpees. First round, you're gonna do 10 of those. Then you're gonna go up to the V-ups and do 20 V-ups. Then you're going to the jump squats and doing 30 jump squats. That's round one. Round two. You're just gonna do one rep, rep, one rep less of the devil's press. So you have nine V-ups, two less, 18. Jump squats, three less at 27. So the devil's presses, you're just decreasing by one rep each round. The V-ups, you're decreasing by two reps each round. And jump squats, you're decreasing it by three reps. So um, essentially, instead of counting up, you're counting down and jump squats have the most reps in them. So uh, this is one, if, you, if this is like, you know, maybe you haven't been working out much, um, maybe start from number seven, maybe number eight, instead of doing nine and 10. Nine and 10, the first two rounds are gonna take the longest. Um, but it's your call. I'm also putting like a, I think a 20 minute time cap I think would be good for this one. So if after 20 minutes you're not done, let's say you're on round four, um, you can either stop there, or I'm not round four, but you've gone 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then your you're 20 minutes is up. I will give you the, if you're close, because you don't have too much more to go, I would say just go ahead and finish it, but you have the option of stopping at 20 minutes. All right, good morning, Donna. All right, here we go. Let's... <laughs> Let's go and I'm gonna turn this thing around. Good morning, everybody. And we got Aaron joining us and we got Mel. Okay, so hopefully you all, all heard the instruction. Um, okay, so real quick cap. There is no rest in this wad. You're working as fast as you can to finish from three, two, one, go, right until you're done with that very last rep and that jump squat. So your movements, if jumping hurts your knees, just do that regular air squat or squat onto the toes, okay? So your first round, you're gonna have those nine double presses, a burpee with dumbbells, thrust them overhead. Then you've got, um, again, those V-ups, which can be modified to do a single side V-up. Just do half the work on one side and half the work on the other. Or um, doing a reverse crunch or we call it heels of heaven, just working the lower abs as you're lifting your, your hips up off the floor, feet going up to the ceiling. And then of course, lastly, those jump squats. So again, first round, 10, 20, 30. And then you're decreasing by, you know, one, two, and three reps um, respectively. All right, any questions? Any confused faces? <laughs> All right, so just do the best you can. If you need to take a break, take it, count your reps, uh, or your, sorry, your breaths, maybe count three breaths to five breaths, and then go again. Or look at the clock and say, okay, I'm only gonna rest 10 seconds, and then go. All right, let's get our earphones on. I'm gonna have my stopwatch going. I suggest you have your timer going too. Just your regular clock on your phone will suffice for today. Actually, let's switch. So the regular one will suffice. Just when I say three, two, one, I'll push start, you push start on yours at the same time. And just, you know, just because um, I can't see when you're done, I can't see when you stop, I don't know how long it's gonna take you. And I'm not gonna be calling out the time like every five seconds. So just have your, your clock ready. And if you're working with a group of people, you just need one, um, just someone be in charge of it. Okay. All right, is everybody, give me a thumbs up somebody if you're ready to go. Because Bree and I, we're anxious to get this one started. Get your music on. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here we go. I got the, I got a thumbs up from Lacey, I'm good. All right, we're gonna count down from 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and start with those double press. Remember, keep it wide enough to get your chest through. All right, you got those V-ups. 20 on your first round. The weight I'm using, 20 pound dumbbells. All right, 30 jump squats. That's slower. <laughs> into those doubles press. Second round, you start with nine. Nine, 18, 27. Good job, Bree. Oh my gosh. Good. All right, you're doing good at home. Seriously? Helm is done the second round. Ten more. Ten rounds. <laughs> Each round gets shorter. Twenty-seven jump squats in your second round.
All right. 8, 16, 24. Are right, your numbers for round three? Modify where you need it. Okay, 24. I lost count. <laughs> start from zero. No. I'm just joking. She said I lost count. So start over, start from zero. Okay. We'll just along. kidding. Round four, you got seven, 14, 21. Seven, 14, 21. I haven't even finished my second round. <laughs> You're on your second, girl. Fourteen. Come up onto the sit bone. Each round gets a little faster with those fewer reps. Don't need to brag. I don't have bragging. 
one here. I have paper towels that fit in the cabinet. What? I have paper towels in the cabinet. What? Paper Never mind. Towels? Never mind. Yes. All right, you're 11 and 30 minutes, 11 minutes, 30 seconds in. Okay, next round. Five, 10, 15. Yeah, five, 10, 15. Oh wait, I didn't do my jump squats. 18. <laughs> Whoops. <sighs> now, five, ten, fifteen. <sighs> Quads. On fire. Sorry for my ever, my heavy panting. All right, 10. All right, four short rounds to go. Four, eight, twelve. Yeah. 
five minutes. Wait. Yeah, yeah five minutes to go. Six feet. You got it, Brie. Thanks. Two, four, six. Stay with it. Three minutes to go. Alright, last one. One, two, three. Time for me, 17.32. Y'all keep going, you got it, Brie. Nice work. I'm gonna finish this round. Huh? I'm gonna finish this round. All right, go to 20 minutes. Yeah, under two and a half minutes to go. Just go as far as you can. All right, two minutes left before the time cap. If you're close to finishing, keep going. There you go. Nice job, Bree. All day, babe. You got it. Oh my gosh. If you're finished with this round, go. Start the next one. You got a minute and a half left. Use every minute you can. Every second counts. Every breath makes you stronger. So when you want to stop, that's when you have to find it deep within you to push a little harder. There you go, you got less than a minute. Actually, a minute 15, sorry. Stay with it, keep going. Get it, Aaron. Go, Megan. Go, Bree. Come on, Skyly. Come on, Vic. Lacey, Ryder, Donna, y'all, you got less than a minute. Let's go hard. Go strong. Finish up. Oh, I got some thumbs up. Megan's done. Lacey's done. Good work. All right. You're coming up on your last 30 seconds. Good. Go as fast as you can. Push it right here. Go, go, go. Speed it up. Good, 25 seconds to go. Dig deep. Come on, you can do anything for 20 seconds. That's just one round in a Tabata. That's chump change for you guys now. All right, last 10 seconds. Get right into the sit-ups, breathe, good girl. All right, five, three, two, one, rest. 
Good job. You keep going. If you're on like your second to last round, just go. Or your third to last round, those go so fast. Nice job. Good work, baby doll. Proud of that girl right there. My dream is finally coming true. I've actually got a child that likes to exercise with me. Even though it's uncomfortable, even though it hurts, even though it's not always fun, if you make it a habit, your body's gonna want it on a regular basis. And you're gonna see those results. You're gonna just, just in every aspect of your life, um, emotionally, physically, spiritually, when you're taking, your, taking care of yourself in a holistic approach like this, and exercise is included, all over, you just become a better person. And I always say it, you gotta take care of yourself first before you're able to fully give 100% of yourself to those around you that you love the most. So keep coming in here, keep working hard. Write down the wad on a book, write down weight you used, if you used any, the movement you did, the score you got, and revisit this one. Revisit the one and see if you get your time improved or maybe use heavier weight, whatever it is. Thanks for coming to see us today. Um, it's been about, about what, 30, maybe 30-ish minutes? I think if I want to do a little cool down stretch. I think I'm going to do a little stretch. If you want, I'm going to keep this going. If you want to stay and stretch with me, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow in Inferno. We all have a great day. And for those of you that want to stay, let's get a little stretch on. I'm going to start with my legs and then I'll work up to the upper body. So I'm going to lay down on the mat. Ooh. And just another FYI, I know I've told you guys this here and before, but um, if you tend to get a tear on your tailbone area and it gets real, like the skin comes off it, it's because your skin's like rubbing against each other when you're doing those sit-ups of any variation. A way to prevent that from tearing is put a little Vaseline before you start working out right on that tailbone area. 100% I've never torn whenever I've done that and I tear notoriously. I've, I've torn today because I forgot to put it on. But anyways, just FYI, keep a thing of Vaseline handy if you tend to be a terror. All right, so we're gonna start, bring your right leg lifted up to the ceiling, flex that foot, grab your toe, lock that knee if you can, and pull that leg towards your face. Your other leg on the floor, extend it, flex that foot, lock that knee. Try to get that calf down onto the floor as you pull your right leg into your body. If you can't reach your toe, grab just above your knee, around your shin, around your ankle. And just get it, you might find you can't straighten it. That's fine, just get it as straight as you can. Now take that same foot, drag, drag it off to the right side. Keep that left hip on the floor. You're gonna feel this stretch right on the inner thigh and your calf. Again, pull your leg up towards your head. And lock the knee of this extended leg on the floor. All right, bring that leg back up to center. Cross it over the body. Oh, we're gonna stretch out like that IT band. Now keep that right hip on the floor. Both hips should be on the mat. Your leg's not coming over very far. Now you're gonna feel this in the outer leg also behind that knee, down to the calf. So it works on like the IT band all the way down to that shin, that calf. All right, go ahead and bend. Now, bring your, bend that left leg, take that same right foot, put it over the left knee, reach through, and grab your hands around that left leg. Now you're gonna be stretching out that right hip. Bree and I have been stretching in here after class, and I thought, well, you guys might want it too, so I'm extending it until the time runs out anyways. <laughs> if the time runs out, I can't see how long I've been on Instagram for, but just, it's always good to end with stretching. You work your muscles hard, now you need to stretch them hard. All right, go ahead and undo your legs. Let's do the left side. Right leg extended, lock that right knee, extend your left knee in the air, grab those toes, Try to keep that left knee locked. You might not be able to, especially if you have tight hamstrings, you might not be able to straighten that knee. 
Just grab a little lower and straighten as much as you can. Your leg might be completely stacked over your hip. That might be as far as you can go. Just as long as you're gonna feel it all down this leg. So flex the foot so you can feel it in your calf. Walk the knee, pull your leg towards you so you can feel it all through that back leg. All right, grab the toe with the left hand, drop your leg open. Sorry, it's not the prettiest picture. <laughs> Bring it back up to center. Grab it with your right hand. Now keep this hip on the floor and drop the left leg over across your body. You're not going to take much movement to feel it all right here. Oh yeah, through the back of my knee, my calf, my hip, my high T band. Oh yeah. All right, go ahead and bend your right leg. Place that left foot over that right knee. Reach through, grab your hands underneath that right knee, and pull that right leg to your chest. You're going to feel again the stretch in that left hip. I like this stretch. All right, go ahead and unwind. Go ahead and sit up. I'm gonna stretch the upper body. I'm gonna turn around just so you can see me better. All right, I'm gonna extend, I'll show you on this side first. Extend your left arm out to the side. So if you extend both arms out, you're gonna make a loaded T. Keep that hand in that position. Don't let it slide down towards your hip. Keep it up shoulder height. You're going to rotate your body that you're stretching out your chest muscles. Ooh, the warm breeze came down through these plates. All right, come back over. Now take that same arm. You're gonna bring it in and tuck it underneath your chest. And then roll kind of onto it with your chest. You're going to stretch out the front part of the arm, the deltoid. Alright, bring both arms out. Bring your elbows forward. Walk them forward. I like to interlock my fingers. And I'm going to press my head through my arms, trying to stretch out those tricep muscles and shoulders. Walk your hips back. Walk your elbows forward. Okay. That stretch right there, I really like it when I do it up on a bench. That way I'm able to get a deeper stretch into my shoulders and my triceps. All right, extend your right arm out to the side, just like you did your left earlier. You're gonna rotate those hips. Now this is my bad shoulder, so I can't go quite as deep on this one. But you just go as far as you can before it becomes painful. You should feel it but it shouldn't hurt. Not like stabbing hurt. All right, oh, and bring that same arm. Put it through, thread the needle, they call it. And then rotate, turn your chest so you're putting some pressure on that shoulder. Again, stretching out the front side of the arm, the deltoid.
onto your hands and knees. We did a lot of um, V-ups today, a lot of core work. So we're going to do cat-cow to kind of stretch out our core and release our spine. So um, you're going to inhale, arch your back up towards the ceiling, press your hands into the mat, and exhale, look up, pull your belly down to the floor. Inhale, arch. Exhale. Good, extend. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch out the core. One more, inhale. And exhale. Extend your legs, and you're gonna come down into a upward dog. Drive the hips down to the mat. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Stretch out your belly, your core. Compressing your spine. And push yourself back. Sit down into a child's pose, so knees out. Walk your hands forward. <clears throat> Sit your hips on your heels if you can. Press your hips back. Now reach your hands off to the right. Stretch out the left side of your lats, your left side of your body. We're all here. Good. Walk it back to center. And over to the left. And back to center. All right, nice job today. That was a good one. Um, all right, thanks for staying, staying for our stretch. And hope you all have a great day. And see you tomorrow in Inferno. Y'all did great. <laughs> then Megan says she was a killer. She dripped in sweat. I know, I am too. And you can always tell how hard I work by what my hair looks like at the end. And I always look like I have a blast in here because my hair is always... Psh. That's why I wear these most of the time because it covers the damage I do. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.